Levi wants to know, can you undoubtedly state that God never kills anyone? If he did not in the past or does not in the present, will he not annihilate in the future those who reject Christ? Mm. Is not annihilation a kind of killing? Uh, yeah. I only know one form to cease to exist, and that is death. Good question. Uh, Levi, was it? Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, good question. Um, okay, the reason why I think God's nonviolent primarily is that uh, it's based on the revelation of God in Christ. Uh, when Jesus says, love your enemies, uh, because that's the way the Father loves. Love indiscriminately, like the rain falls, like the sun shines, because that's how the Father loves. Uh, so, so, yeah, I, 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 I don't think God kills. I don't like the word annihilation for just the reasons that you gave, because it sounds like God is saying, I'm going to annihilate you. A terminator. So he's got to put a gun to our head and kill us. Um, I don't think God needs to kill us uh, for us to die. Look, at, throughout the Bible, you find that the consequences, the death consequences of sin are built into the sin. Um, and you find this long motif. That's why you find, often the Bible describes people being punished as them punishing themselves. Uh, the Bible says you're bringing this on your own head. If you dig a ditch for a foe to fall into, you'll fall in that same ditch. The violence that you've done, Habakkuk 2 says, the violence that you've done, talking to the king of Lebanon, uh, will come back and terrify you. Your own violence. So sin punishes itself. It's wired into uh, the nature of creation. So uh, if a person does not accept reconciliation with God, that God has taken care of on the cross, uh, and it continued on that path, they just die. And, and the judgment of God is that God lets you die. If, if it becomes hopeless uh, for... God working with you to turn your heart around. If, if it can, if it's possible for people to become permanently locked against God, solidified, irrevocably solidified against God, then at that point, I think God, as an act of justice, but also as an act of mercy, lets you die, and then you shall be as though you never were, according to Obadiah sixteen, uh, or smoke that arises into the night and just disappears. So I, I, I don't think God kills even in the final judgment. Uh, in the end, you know, uh, it, it, Proverbs uh, 8, I think it is, um, tells us that uh, wisdom is talking, the wisdom of God, which is a personification of God, says, all who hate me love death, because uh, he's the source of all life. And so the, it comes down to this simple equation. God is life. Um, to reject God is death. And that's what makes sin, sin. Mm.